Hey guys, Coach Ma here. I'm going to teach you guys the one-on-ones of baseball. First off, we're going to start with right field. Now, if you're over the age of 13 and you're playing right field, that just means you're the worst dang player on the team. And I'm not going to tell you this thing twice. When I tell you to throw it to my chest, throw it to my chest, dummy. I'll go get it. Now you see here kids, right field is probably the most boring place on the planet Earth. So what I like to do, step one, is to identify all the best females in the crowd. And to show what you're working with, get a little leg in there, you know, right here. Or you can just slap your junk around for nine innings and do what I do. Now the first step to playing right field is the janitor throw. I call it the janitor throw because it's clean up all the crap turds your pitcher has left on the base pads. The first step to the janitor throw is the crow hop into the diving throw. Hey Mitch, throw me the ball, stupid. Woo! Guaranteed out every time. All right, kids, now I'm going to introduce you guys to pitching. Now, the number one rule is pitching is only throwing a fastball, and a fastball only. Junk balls are for wussy turds that like to get dingers hit off of them. Step two is a stretch. Now it's all about the approach of how you're pitching it. Now how I like to start is, is look that batter right in the eye, fire that flame. Just dangle that arm right there, fire that flame. Right there. Then you come up, you gotta get a little leg in there, pump it up, pump it up right there. Then you just fire that one right in there. Ugh. Guaranteed out every time. Now I'm gonna introduce you guys to catch it. All right, kids, I'm here to tell you guys that knee savers are only for mama's boys. The only thing that's saving you guys is from your virginity. Step one is that you gotta get in the batter's head. What up, crap turd? Man, your head's better than my wong when I see your mother. God dang it, I can't say that! Step two, you always gotta give your pitcher the signal. Now all I can do is give him the old roll of dice. Now it's always a second sign, so this doesn't mean anything. Now after the first sign, you always throw down one for a fastball. Now, you don't make them shake off your fastball because you're only throwing a fastball or else you fight them. Now I don't need you anymore, little turd. Now go throw me the ball. Go throw me the ball. Now you see what I did there, kids? If your coach tells you to get over there and block that, you just tell them, this position is called catcher, not blocker. You don't do that. All right, kids, now I'm going to tell you guys how to bunt. Now, I know bunting is probably the worst thing on this planet, but you know what? I'm just going to have to teach you guys anyways. All right, the first step to bunting is to get the call from your coach. Now, if he gives you the butt signal, what I like to do is throw my bat on the ground and look at him right straight in his dead eye. Usually, that makes him reverse the call so I don't have to lay down on a little sissy bunt so I can just hit another dinger. Now, if that doesn't work, I just might as well just yell, Hey guys, I'm about to fix the bunt! And if that doesn't work, I'm just going to teach you guys how to bunt. Now, the first actual step of dropping down a bunt is that you got to get your fingers over the bat. Now, most of your coaches tell you not to do this because it's going to hurt, but unless you're a sissy, you're going to take it. Alright, Mitch, just throw me a ball right here. God dang it, Mitch! Throw me a strike! Don't bunt on my field! I just gotta show the kids. Just, just throw me the dang ball. Oh no, you didn't. I, I told you I was gonna punt. And give me some. I was a dinger. Woo! All right, guys. That's the fundamental of baseball. Now, Coach Mott is signing out. Ah, dang it, Mott. <laughs>